Next, what are we looking at? A full dress Civivi. I, I never thought I'd see it coming. Guys, you know what time it is. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. Guys, I've got to apologize. I don't know what to do about it. I have put up soundproofing stuff. I've got egg crates and stuff everywhere. There is just a transient echo in this garage that I just cannot seem to get rid of no matter what I try to do. So we're just going to have to deal with it. I don't know why. Uh, some days it's worse than others. But uh, at any rate, this is the Civivi Appalachian Drifter 2. And uh, I've been carrying it for about a day and a half all total. Uh, it is first day in pockets, but it's been spread across a few days now uh, because it's just been hectic and crazy here. And I just have not had a chance to film this. So actually I did film it and the footage was garbage and the echo was really bad and I couldn't do anything about it. So at any rate, guys, let's not make this take any longer. Let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. Guys, my buddy Tino brought this by the house the other day and he's like, hey, do you want to do a video of it? Because if you don't do it now, the only who knows how long it's going to be before we get to see each other again. This is the Civivi Appalachian Drifter 2 top flipper, but this one is done in two types of carbon fiber um, and some mosaic Damascus that is just beautiful. So I've had this in pocket. Uh, this is actually a reshoot of a video. The audio was horrible. Like, I apologize. I, I'm just going to have to do the best I can to get some of the echo uh, taken care of somehow. But at any rate, um, I had this in pocket for about a day and a half, and I'm not typically a fan at all of top tripler front flippers. This thing, I don't mind at all. I don't have to change my position of grip to uh, to flip it. Um, I can hold on to it just like I want to. A lot of other top flippers, I wind up having to change position and trying to get my hand in a position where I want. This thing has got a nice enough handle, oops, sorry guys, a nice enough handle shape that it really does not require that I change position. The blade on it is a hollow grind that is done really, really well, comes down super thin and slicey. Um, and the Damascus, like I said, is gorgeous. Now, on this carbon fiber you can see the line let me zoom in on it you guys can see that line right there right but i'm gonna tell you like there is really nothing to feel like you can't even really hear it when you run your fingernail across it you can see it but it's not and so this is probably one of the best transitions on carbon fiber i've seen and i mentioned that not just because it's attractive, but because it's really hard to do on carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has a tendency to want to chip and not get a clean cut on it. So I'm not sure how they're doing that. If they maybe are doing that wire EDM or something else. I did, I, guys, I apologize. I jammed a knife down in there by accident uh, in moving things around that was partially open. Um, but to get back to the action and everything on it, super great. I've cut a little bit with it, and that is a very deep hollow that just almost disappears. It is so super thin behind the edge. Uh, it just slices through everything you'd ever want. Uh, hardware is attractive. Civivi's been doing this. Now, I was not expecting to see a knife like this from Civivi. This is more something I would be wanting to see, or expecting to see, I should say, from the parent brand, We Knife Company, or another like higher end knife company, you're looking at what feels and looks like a, a several hundred dollar knife. Now I haven't looked up price or anything. This is a blind review. I haven't looked anything up on it. It's done so well that I, I was kind of taken aback by how well it is done. Um, pocket clip, it, I mean, pocket clip's pretty plain, but it is a Civivi knife. Now, so far, the only thing that I have that I can complain about on this, the only thing is that there is very little space once you once you flip that open there's very little space in there for me to get on that lock bar i catch myself like sticking my thumbnail down in to disengage the the liner lock uh, because it's really really tight in there but that is i mean no no joke for me to say that that's the only thing i find wrong with a top flipper the action like you can't complain about how well 
that top flipper works. Now, I'm still not such a fan of it Eve, as a top flipper, but it gives it a clean line. There's nothing sticking out back here. The, it completely disappears, which makes it nice. It looks like a really nice clip point uh, slip joint knife. And you've got minimal, minimal acreage that that's taking up. It's really clean and nice. And you can see the, the etch, went, they did their etch and it did it so well. It's clear down onto that nice clip point blade with a fuller. I know that some people aren't a fan of those full, those fullers that go all the way down. I don't mind them. I find them really attractive. I like the pattern in this Damascus. Look at that. On those swedges. And it has something else I really like in a knife. If you're going to give people the option of a lanyard, don't make a hole. So in the backspacer, between the two liners, there's just an opened up area where you can slide it a lanyard through that and just basically have your lanyard sticking through that backspacer. I like that. This is a very attractive way to do it on this one. Um, you can see where they've just milled that out. Uh, the liners on it, it's, it's super light, guys. The liners on it have been skeletonized on the show scale. But I will say I can feel a difference in weight. It's minimal at most, but I can feel a difference in weight from side to side because this side is skeletonized and this side isn't. That does not bother me, but there are some of my friends. Uh, my friend, uh, my friend uh, Pip Corona um, that owns uh, Otter Arms, he does not like that. That's why he doesn't like... Uh, a, a, a carbon fiber show scale and a titanium lock scale. He doesn't like that because he can feel the difference in weight from side to side. For me, it doesn't bother me at all. But holy cow, guys, the action on that. It just, it takes nothing for that thing to fly open. So um, I'm going to lightly carry this for the next few days and I will get a full review of this put up. Uh, but it's already, uh, at this point, made a couple of appearances in, uh, in a couple videos as a standby for other things. Man, look at that carbon fiber, the pearlescence of that carbon fiber. It is beautiful. And they did a really good job, look at that, of matching it from side to side, getting a, a pattern that is complementary on both sides. I mean, I know it's different because the patterns are going to be different, but it looks really good. You just two different kinds of carbon fiber, carbon fiber to give you that bolstered look. So yeah, this is a, this is a winner in my book. I'm really digging this knife. So uh, guys, let's go ahead and turn this around and uh, do some final thoughts. Like I said, guys, this thing is gorgeous. It is super slicey. It's really comfortable in hand, and it's pretty much a great all-around knife. Only one or two small little things that I mentioned at the table. So guys, if you liked the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. Make sure you hit the bell icon, hit all, and then make sure you've got notifications turned on on your device. Um, if you want to support the channel other ways financially, uh, I do have a few ways you can do it. They are all down in the description. I have a membership tab that gets you early access to some videos, exclusive content based on tier premium, tier sharpening tutorial series. Everyone has access to the Gilded chat server. It's just like Discord, but it's not on there. It's on Gilded. And it saves you $5 per knife on my sharpening service. Other ways you can do it, I have a bunch of affiliate links down below. If you want to purchase anything through those affiliate links, it doesn't cost you anything, but I get a portion of it at checkout. They just pay me a little bit for bringing those items to you. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. where you can pick up shirts and things like that. Not even necessarily all my shirts, uh, they have other creators and stuff there, but I have a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. And if you do purchase merchandise and you send me a picture of you wearing it, I will put them in the videos. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.